denial, confusion, shock. In this very moment, how many people are getting diagnosed? Stephanie Trong is... The family has quite a bit... Stephanie? Stephanie Trong, who joins the us... The justice program is... Fun updated from Contra Live in San Francisco, Stephanie Trong, NBC, Bay Area News. This is how most people knew me for almost a decade. As a TV news journalist, passionate about telling other people's stories through my work. People like Nina. She was around my age, we had mutual friends, but she was facing down an aggressive cancer. Never in a million years did I ever think her story would become mine. Life was always so good. Work was fun with my photographer turned work husband. We had travels around the world with my husband, to Dusty Dancing at Burning Man. It was December 2016 and I was feeling good. Our home was getting done. We were two months away from our wedding, but something just wasn't feeling right. So I finally got myself to the doctors and she ordered the tests. Wasn't expecting anything, but two hours after I got those x-rays done, I got the call and I'll never forget it. All I could hear was cancer and all I could think was, am I going to die? I guess we build these expectations of a life ahead. Uh, you know, you're, you're on track to starting a family, getting married, and to have that suddenly pulled out from under you. Then I finally learned days later what my diagnosis was, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, stage three. The same exact subtype of the rare blood cancer that I had reported on just a couple years before. Going back and thinking about that very moment when I was diagnosed and not sure if if I would ever have that life. It just, you know, makes me feel really grateful right now because in life we start to worry about things that maybe we shouldn't worry about. Things that are causing stress that shouldn't. And um, having this perspective being privileged enough to look back on it and seeing what I have now. That's how the patient story was born, a place for survivors to share their stories and help newly diagnosed patients and their families, help them feel supported. Like Arielle, she was our first interview. She'd gone through the same cancer and chemo six months before I did and had become a mentor to me. And of course, Jen, the nurse who made me laugh so much when I was drained, wondering how I was gonna keep it going. This is all what motivated me to keep fighting and to get back to normalcy, whatever the hell that means. I'm so thankful to be able to say that I'm in remission now. And a month after chemo, I finally did get to have my magical wedding day, even if it wasn't a wig. But the best day of my life so far, this one, our little miracle, our baby girl. And you know, through all this, what I learned was life doesn't move in a straight line. Trauma interrupts so many of our lives illness, financial problems, divorce, it could be anything. But the climb out of that dark place honestly made me so much stronger and so much more grateful. Never more sure of the power of human connection and how we all have a story to tell.